515 right now. Bakersfield students working to improve the life of those terminally ill received some big support last night. The industrial company is helping the Frontier High School dream catchers. 23 ABC's Carlos Correa has more on the lessons teens learn from making wishes come true. Brooke Real likes to keep busy. It's a great feeling knowing that you're doing something in your community. While putting the finishing touches at her homecoming float, she's also planning the next visit to Optimal Hospice. It's a place she volunteers with the school's Dreamcatchers organization. I wanted to join this club because I enjoy helping out the community and I thought it was a good way in which I could do that. The Dreamcatchers work with terminally ill patients, helping fulfill wishes every year. One of my favorite dreams is a patient really wanted to have a garden that she could sit out and read books and enjoy, but she didn't know if she would be moving or not. So we came up with the idea to give her a portable garden. There are 100 students actively involved with the group. Students have helped decorate rooms, provide meals, thrown birthday parties, and given patients and their loved ones special dinners. Pretty amazing. I mean, you know, I mean, look, they're high school kids and they're having a huge impact on the community, making things happen for people that they don't even know. The industrial company awarded the group medals and a plaque in appreciation of the work students are doing in the community. TIC also presented a check for more than $1,600 so students can continue bringing smiles to area patients. Sometimes it's really hard. Um, it's really hard when we get news about a, a patient that we help passing. Um, but we know we enjoy every second we get to spend with them, and I'm really glad that we get to meet them. Oh, what a great bunch of kids. That was 23BC's Carlos Correa reporting. Frontier High School isn't the only place in Kern County, though, where this program runs. Dreamcatchers is also based in three other schools.